The COVID-19 pandemic has affected Kenya's food systems directly through impacts on food supply and demand and indirectly through decreased capacity to produce and distribute food. In response to that, the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Cooperatives is addressing food supply chain and nutrition challenges through the establishment of one million kitchen gardens in rural and urban households. Through these one million kitchen gardens, the ministry is contributing to the Big Four agenda on the 100% food and nutrition security by enabling households to maintain a healthy diet. The ministry is supporting vulnerable households with kitchen garden starter kits that are simple, space and water efficient. So far, the first phase of the project has supported over 200,000 households through the KSAP, NARIC and CVAP projects. In phase two, the ministry will support an additional 200,000 vulnerable households in setting up their own kitchen gardens. We are here today at uh, the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, Kilimo House, uh, we, where we have the model uh, kitchen garden uh, demonstration site, where we set up all the technologies that uh, all households are able to adapt to, to be able to give them not only knowledge, but also be able to, you know, give them the instructions, you know, step-by-step -step guidance on how to set up these gardens. There are several incredible ideas through which one can establish a simple, space and water efficient kitchen garden using locally available materials. They include the corn garden, the multi-story garden, the micro garden, tire garden, moist bed garden, the weak irrigation garden and the simple drip irrigation garden. In this video, we will take a look at the simple drip irrigation kitchen garden. This is a simple technology that takes little wall space and requires very little time and energy to maintain. It uses recycled plastic bottles and jerrycans that would have otherwise been a menace to the environment. The materials required include 5 liter bottles and jerrycans, a pole or a wall, cutting tools, nails, pricking needle, soil mixed with manure on a ratio of 1 to 1, water and seedlings. When selecting site for the simple drip, make sure it is in an area where it is not, it's not obstructing anybody. Ideally it should be along the wall where it's not blocking anybody or near the fence. It should be away from the daily activities so that it doesn't keep obstructing people or causing accidents. And we have identified our site here. It's very easy to construct in that you just pick five liter jerry cans, get a pole or a piece of timber if you're going to attach it to the wall. If you're going to put it in open space, you get a post, dig a hole, one and a half to two feet, and then you erect that pole there. The garden should be easy to manage, like you can operate it easily. So depending on your height, just mark a height where you can reach comfortably to open the bottle top without having a st to strain or having to climb. For my height now, I'll mark it there, where I can comfortably open and close the bottle for the drip. So I've already marked where I can operate it comfortably without climbing on any stool or ladder. So from there now, I'll measure. This is my point where I'm comfortably able to open the bottle. I'll measure from there, 40 centimeters to the point where the first bottle will be. I'll put a mark. From that mark now, I measure the distance of where I'll fix the jerry cans, the five liter jerry cans. From one jerry can to the next one, it will be 50 centimeters in an alternating manner. The 50 mark centimeter will continue depending on how 
long my pole was or how many I want to achieve. Averagely, you should achieve at least three. Unless you are very tall, you could have four. But that one now may be too tall, too high for an average person. We have marked three jerry cans. The next step is to cut our jerry cans. We are going to remove the bottom. And this part must remain open because of the floor to the next level. So we'll just remove the bottom and put a few holes on the side so that we are able to have several vegetables. We start with the top nail here, the one that is going to hold the jerica. You need a big nail that is strong enough to hold the jerica, three or four inches. Then from there now we fix our jerricans. Remember to put on the right marks you put. If you don't put on the right marks, you may lose space and your garden will not be even. Remember they should alternate, so this one has to face the pole. So this one will put it here. This one now will face the direction of the first one. So those are erected as you can see, they are still standing. So we want to stand the pole and then reinforce with the binding wire. Our gardens cannot stay like this, they are not well fixed. So we are going to use a binding wire to fix them completely on the wall. For the first one we are going to use the handle to fix it on the wall or on the pole. This one is now well reinforced. We go to the next one. Make sure it is well farmed so that your vegetables don't fall or your garden doesn't fall. Once your garden is well secured, you can now fill it with soil mixed with manure. As you have seen, soil is just falling. You see, that's how our soil will fall. So we put stones. Huh? We put a small stone to prevent our soil from falling. So we put stones in all of them, small stones, so that our soil is not eroded. Remember stones are easy to put and they can they will still pass the water. It's like that. So we now feel, as you can see when you start with the top, the excess soils will fall on the lower ones so that you don't have a lot of wastes. That's our garden now well filled. We have three. This is the five liter bottle we are going to use. This could be a juice bottle, a mineral water bottle. Remember, all these bottles are found in the environment as waste, and we are also encouraging people to recycle waste plastics. So, before we fill it with water, we are going to prick it with a needle, a pin, so that we just have a small hole that will release water drop by drop as we water our gardens. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to prick and make a small hole. After you prick, you open the bottle and fill it with water. Before you fill it with water, you fix a binding wire around it, which you'll use to hang on the nail. You fix it around the neck of the bottle.
remember I measured my height because this is my garden. I want to operate it comfortably there. I can close and open without a problem. So once I'm sure that it can be fixed there, I'm now going to fill it with water. After you fill it with water, you close, because as long as the bottle is open, it will be releasing water. You fix it along the nail. Make sure that whatever water is dripping is well balanced. So that is our drip. The first garden will soak, then the next one. Then after all of them are soaked, we now prepare to plant. The spaces in between are enough to be able to accommodate most of our local vegetables. And the root space inside the container is also enough to accommodate most of our local vegetables, the kales, and even things like onions and beetroots. The container can accommodate up to three plants, especially when you are planting like the local vegetables. There you have your garden planted. Remember it is gender friendly. It's very easy to operate. Anybody can do this, even the elderly. You can have as many rows as the space allows. Yes. And then you can also diversify in production, grow several types, so that you're also diversifying in consumption. Our appeal to the viewers that may be watching this is, you know, see something and implement. This is how we collectively contribute to food and nutrition security when each and every household is able to produce safe food within the confines of their homes. From this tutorial, it is our hope that you will be able to establish your own kitchen garden and enjoy a constant supply of fresh, nutritious vegetables, fruits and spices for you and your family. In case you need more information, kindly log on to www.kilimo.go.ke